Hello guys. Uh, we need to talk about something serious. I was blocked from streaming. Some of you may have noticed. Some of you may have not noticed. I got my streaming privileges back, but at the time when it happened, I thought it was permanent. I wanted to make a video explaining why I was blocked for streaming and why the video got taken down. So basically, me and Chloe uh, and Nate I think Nate was there, Caden was there, and Bianca was there. We were all having a good time and we were all playing Among Us. My viewers from my stream got the code because it was shown on the stream, which was my fault. That was, that was totally my fault. And they got into the private game. And one game in particular, Chloe was the imposter. And she killed me. The people that were watching my stream that were in the game outed Chloe as the imposter with no evidence. They just outed her because they saw her kill on the stream. Now I'm dead. I don't know if you guys know how Among Us works. The way we play it is that when if we die, we're dead. We can't talk. Because that would be cheating. Now, this was extremely uncool. I have video footage that I can show you right now. Aww. What do you think? I like Skylo. Hi, Chris is in one of our streams. Might be mine. Okay, I'm starting. Um, can somebody come watch me scan on the medway? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I am three six. Oh, somebody did. I'm not gonna say who it is. I just want to say that was a really good play. Ah, oh, wait, who was? Hmm. Is everyone saying blue is sus? Chloe? It's not me. Wait, who the hell is Express One? Um, wait, they're watching <laughs> your damn what? stream. No. <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed right now. They're watching no. your damn stream. What is. Oh, guys, don't do that. No, that's fucked up, dude. <laughs> I'm done, I quit. So, I guess I know who it is. I'm, no, I'm fucking done, I quit. No. That's so fucking stupid. Tristan, I'm leaving. So, Bye, man. No, no, no. We're gonna skip. Ex we're going to ban Express One. No. It was both. It was Chris and the fucking other dude. It was Gerald too. So that's pretty cheap. <laughs> no, I'm I'm done. I quit. Bye, guys. Yo, Have a nice fucking no. night. That's chat. Why the fuck did you stupid. do that? You little fucking Chloe, dirty Ron Peters. That was the best Chloe, fucking play of my life. And if it wasn't for the simple fact that they're watching the fucking stream, we would have gotten away with that fucking play. Yeah, you yeah. would have. Yeah, you would have. Nathan, can you go on um, my stream real quick? I want you to look at this fucking kill. Yeah, it was good. It was definitely good. And they did a double kill on us. Basically, they they just outed her. Uh, and Chloe got really mad at them for that. I got mad at my viewers for that. I told them that I would have to stop streaming if they did that again, because it was wrong. So what I'm going to do is if that happens again, chat, I'm not going to stream. I'm just going to end the stream. Because that's, that's just cheap. That's just ruining the experience for everyone else. I'm kicking the people that did that, so... Yeah. There we go. All right. And if it happens again, I'm not going to stream this. Now, even though YouTube took down my video without a reason, uh, and they didn't actually properly review my video, I was still very professional about it. I still said thank you for letting me have the chance to appeal and stuff like this. Um... They denied my appeal, and at this point, I was I was a little mad. I was I was a little mad because I had I had done nothing wrong. So what happened was I tried to contact YouTube. I actually called them directly. Now YouTube's a big company, right? Google, you know. So I don't really care how long I'm on hold for. I will stay there until I get someone. A person. I was on hold for about one to two hours and 
I finally got someone that was super nice. She she was very nice to me. Um, I told her my situation. She said, well, we can't really do anything here. We're actually the people that guide people to where, where they need help. So they couldn't help me, but they could guide me to someone that could. And I was like, okay, that's cool. You know, I was like, that's great. And she'll be like, here, let me see what I can do for you. And she puts me on hold. And I'm like, this is, this, this person is very nice, you know. Two minutes passed on hold. She came back. And then she ended the call. At this point, I'm not very, I'm not on good terms with YouTube, the way that they handle things. I think the way they handle things is very unprofessional. So let, let's, let's take a little bit of a review. People cheated on my stream. They ruined the experience for everyone. So I blocked them from the game and I made it so that they can't cheat again. They flagged my video. The video got taken down and they said that they reviewed the video. They clearly did not because there was nothing wrong with it. That was the first mistake they did. I, they didn't review it properly. I then made a very professional appeal and I even thanked them for letting me appeal the video, even though it was a mistake taking it down. They denied the appeal, which makes me think that they didn't even read my appeal. They just denied it. At, at this time, I am not on good terms with YouTube at all. What I did was I tweeted to them. And I'll, I'll put up pictures showing you what I tweeted. Now, keep in mind, Twitter has a limited character that you can tweet. Uh, so you can't type too many letters. So I had to compact it a lot. So it was not as professional as I would like it to be. At YouTube, blocked from streaming in my Among Us live stream. I reviewed my video and it follows the community guidelines. So I appealed the video. My appeal explains exactly why the video got flagged, yet it still got rejected. Can you guys get back to me? Thanks. They then tweeted me, sorry to hear this. Can you share the video URL and more info on what we have missed in the appeal? No promises that the decision will be changed, but we'll definitely see if we can help and share more info with you about it. This was very professional. I loved that YouTube did this. They responded to me. That's, that's one thing that I will give them props for is that they responded to me. The second thing is that they, they were honest and they said that it might not change anything, but we would, like to sh we would definitely share more info with you about it. So I was very happy to hear that. So, I tweeted them back with, I don't have a URL because the video was deleted, but I do have the appeal link in the picture. I can't put the appeal in here because my appeal is 800 characters, but if you can email me at ZeusClan6 at gmail.com, I can send you my appeal explaining everything. Thank you for responding. I sent them a picture of the appeal link, which I'm not going to show on stream because I don't know what that will, I don't want to release any sensitive information. They also, in later tweets, they also said to delete that tweet because I put in my email, which I'm not going to do because if you go to my about page, my email is there for anyone that wants to contact me anyway. So it's a, it's a business email. They tweeted me, we understand this is important to you. Do you mind sharing your channel URL so that we can take a closer look? By the way, we recommend deleting your previous tweet because it has your personal info. And then they said email address. So I sent them a link to my channel. So I got my streaming privileges back uh, a week later, which I thought was permanent. So I was very worried because most of my channel is live streams. So I tweeted them. I got my streaming privileges, but the video is still down. Then they tweeted me. Thanks for the info. Mind sharing the video URL in question. Keep us posted. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but whenever, whenever YouTube takes down a video, if you uploaded that video regularly, it'll show you in your manage video screen that it was deleted and it'll tell you why. The way I do things is I stream and then that stream later on publishes itself. And that's in a whole different section of my managing video screen. So when a stream gets deleted, it doesn't tell me that it got deleted. It doesn't tell me why it got deleted. And I can't even see the video anymore. So I can't even give them the URL. I said, my appeal link, if that helps. I send them my link because 
like I said, I don't have the video URL, and that's really the only thing I have. When they took down my video, they sent me an email telling me that they took down my video, and if I would like to appeal it, they gave me a link to appeal it. That's how I still have that link. They tweeted me back with, appreciate your response. We sent this info to our team. We'll let you know as soon as we have an update about it. For your safety, please delete any tweets slash screenshots you may have shared your private info with. Thanks for your patience in the meantime. See, this is still professional. They then tweeted me and they said, update. Our team checked your video and confirmed that it violates our community guidelines. And then they sent me a link to the community guidelines. The content will not be reinstated. Thanks for understanding. Now, I don't know what I did wrong in the video, but at this at this point, I don't really care because it's just a video. You know, I can make way more videos. You know, I I I really don't care. Uh, so what I I I replied to them saying, "Could you please tell me what violated the community guidelines so that I know what not to do again?" I said this because that video was very much just like all my other videos, which means that if I got a community guideline strike and they were right about it, I'm fucked because <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what I did wrong, and this video is a lot like all my other videos, so that means that all my other videos are somehow disobeying the community guidelines. They then tweeted me, we recommend checking the email we've sent about this video being taken down. You can also read more about that in this guide, and they sent me a link to the community guidelines. Appreciate your understanding. Now, here's the thing. They said you can read more about it in this guide, and they sent me a link to the whole entire community guidelines. How am I supposed to know why my video got deleted if you send me to the whole entire community guidelines? You know, there, there's different parts of community guidelines like hate speech, child abuse, uh, stuff about suicide. You know, there's a lot of things that violate the community guidelines, but they just sent me the entire guidelines. <laughs> they didn't tell me what I did. They didn't tell me how not to do it again. They didn't tell me anything. So I sent them a tweet saying... I haven't received an email. Make sure you sent it to ZeusClan6 at gmail.com. Also, the live stream was taken down, meaning the video is not in my managed video screen. I would like to have a reason why my video was taken down so I can prevent this from happening again. Thanks. I have not received a tweet since. You can see why I'm upset. <laughs> we all clearly know why it got deleted. Those bastards from my stream decided to flag my video because I wouldn't let them cheat. And then YouTube comes along, fake reviews my video, and deletes it. I filled out a completely professional form about it. They did not read my appeal. They just rejected it immediately. I highly doubt they even reviewed my video. I called YouTube. That wasn't fun. I had to wait a long time. I had to take a lot of time out of my day. And then just for me to get hung up on. And then I tweeted YouTube. They were very professional about it. Because I made it public. Until they weren't professional anymore. And they pretty much refused to give me a reason. I still have not gotten an email about why my video was taken down. I really don't care about the video anymore. I, it's not, I, I, take the video, throw it out the window. I do not care about it. What I care about is that if one to three people come to my streams or my videos and flag my videos, and I've been doing YouTube for a long time, guys. I've been doing YouTube on this channel. I've been doing YouTube for about four to five years-ish. Before this channel, I had another channel that I was I was doing for maybe two years. I've been doing YouTube for about seven years in about total. And then, three people come along that cheat on my stream. And then they flag my video. And 
YouTube doesn't care how long I've been in here. I don't make I don't make money. I've never made money. Ever from YouTube. Ever from YouTube. I do have a donate button that I just put in. But I have not received any donations. Nor have I ever made money through YouTube partnerships. Everything I do here on YouTube is for fun. It's for a hobby. YouTube just took that and threw it in my face and was very unprofessional about it. This is why I'm sharing this with you. I want you guys to understand what happened. And I want you to understand the unprofessionalism and I want you to understand the risks when doing YouTube. Because when I found out that my streaming was denied, when I found out that I was blocked from streaming, it made me not even want to come back to streaming if I could. It made me want to just go to Twitch. But all of my content is here. I love how YouTube saves my content in a way. I love how I can easily download them. I love everything about it. But this was pretty fucked up what they did. Um, that being said, I wanted to get that out there. If they do tweet me back, if something comes up, that is significant i will update you guys i will probably make another video and say what happened i would also like to point out that they did not just provoke my privilege to stream and take down my video they said in the email that this is not a community guidelines strike but if it were to occur again it could possibly be that way. I don't want that kind of bad reputation on my channel, period. Everyone knows that I'm just a gamer guy. I just like playing games with my friends. I like I just like having a good time. I always try to avoid drama, but when drama comes to me on my channel, that's when I have to get involved because it's my channel. I'm going to stop rambling, but if you would like to see the stream that not my stream Thankfully, when this happened, I was doing a collaboration with Chloe. Her stream is going to be linked down below with a timestamp of when this happened. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. This was such a good fucking kill, too, and I'm so mad that he ruined that.